Thanks. While many are gathering around the table for Thanksgiving today, some are left without a table in which to sit. But as 5 News' Jose Carranza shows us, one couple is making sure no one is alone this holiday. At the Southside Church of Christ in Rogers, you'll find some turkey, maybe some corn, but most importantly, you'll find a thankful community. Everybody belongs here. Um, we don't care who you are, where you're from, what you wear. You're part of our community, you're our neighbor, and we want to see you. Want to see your face in the place. It all started back when John and Nicole Shervinak moved to Northwest Arkansas in 1994. That's when they spent their first Thanksgiving completely alone. We didn't have family or friends, so we just thought it would be a great place to, you know, make sure the community can come out if they're alone like we were or didn't have a Thanksgiving dinner, that they had something. Ever since then, they decided to invite anyone and everyone to their Thanksgiving, growing to a gathering of 800 people this year. To see other people come and eat and not able to eat or to go different places to eat, you know, that feel, makes me feel good in my heart, you know, God bless everybody and this is another blessing that we're doing. There used to be Miss Milda who passed away a few years ago and she used to come all the time and she would stay all day and it was just something that made, made my heart beat because she had somebody to be with. So. Mainly that's what it's for. It's just being community and being together. It's an inspiration. Being a chef, working in the food industry is hard work. And folks, you know, we take that for granted sometimes when we're running out to catch a meal. Watching him turn the most basic things into something that you would find in the best restaurant in town is absolutely amazing. And he has such a huge heart, he and his wife both. And it's just about practicing gratitude and kindness. In Rogers, covering news where you live, Jose Carranza, 5 News. Chervenyak says one thing she hopes people take home apart from the food is to be kind to one another. As for the Care Community Center, Porter says once the Thanksgiving festivities wrap up, they'll start work on Toys for Tots and Care for Holidays on Monday.